In this video, I wanted to go over the five, at least in my opinion, best text editors for pretty much any operating system. So, to start off, I'll be talking about number five, which is going to be a text editor called Brackets. Oh, and by the way, this is the, uh, what you guys are seeing here, this is the new Manjaro 15.09 KDE release. So, I'm liking it. It's looking pretty fancy, pretty cool. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. There's a little bit of bugs that could be tweaked and fixed, but overall, really, really, really liking it. It's really going to give Windows 10 a run for its money. So, anyways, the app, Brackets. Now, everyone is going to need a text editor, regardless if you're a basic uh, computer user, intermediate, or advanced. And depending on your skill set maybe you'll need something simple such as notepad for windows or maybe you want something more advanced and if you're a programmer or you write code or you just are a computer entrepreneur you'll want to dive into something like the different features and, and, and aspects of text editors and so this is what this video is going to be about so brackets now brackets is <coughs> on this list because it is the most popular and most highest respected text editor for the Mac operating systems and that's OS 10 and you know previous operating systems uh, released by Apple now while it is able to run on Linux and uh, I believe you can even get it running on Windows it is primarily gained its popularity from the Mac lovers out there and it's pretty cool it has a good language support it has a, a great amount of well at least language support for web development more than anything it has a live browser previews and updates without a server it has inline CSS editing it has very well documented open API uh, an open API for plugin developers it has a lot of themes and plugins a built-in package manager, multiple selection editing, and autocomplete. It also has a color picker, and on top of that, it's open source and free. I mean, that's awesome. And for Apple users, that can be sort of rare, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, next on the list is going to be Notepad++. Now, for those of you that are familiar with Windows, you know that there's Notepad, and there's also WordPad. And while they are very old and popular text editors and everyone uses them, uh, if you want to take it to the next level and actually do some real coding, Notepad++ is the one for you if you're using Windows. And it's really just the best upgrade you can get if you're running the Windows operating system. It's customizable, it has a document map, it has tabbed interface, it has autocomplete text shortening, macro recording, customizable shortcuts, customizable syntax highlighting, text folding, it's free, it's portable or installable, and it's really the best option if you're using Windows and you don't want to use one of the other cross-platform options on this list. So, it's really cool, I highly recommend it, and it's really doesn't take up any extra space so why not install it alright so third on the list is going to be sublime and for people who are familiar with text editors they you everyone knows about it sublime is by far one of the most respected text editors out there and is very powerful um, you know closely damn near an IDE itself but it's still uh, restricted in some ways such as being shareware which people especially in the Linux and open source community can't stand so but one of the great things about sublime many of the great things about sublime that have made it as popular as it is is the fact that it is packed with so many features incredible amounts it's very user-friendly um, and you know from a beginner's view all these editors may look the same but when you finally dive in when you're writing code and by the way this is just some example code that I put up here and you're doing all this stuff it these little features and all these little tiny add-ins these plugins all this stuff it matters so much 
and for each stage you take in becoming a better and better and better and more talented programmer and coder each feature is another learning curve you know what I mean so it's very customizable um, it has a powerful search and go feature it has lots of keyboard commands and even a distraction free mode which is really cool when you're just in the heat of the moment right writing code <laughs> it has a tab interface and a 10,000 foot view on the right so you're never gonna run out of space it has a lot of shortcut options it's very fast and very stable and so that is why sublime is so highly respected and why I highly recommend it at least for a lot of people they'll really enjoy sublime they may choose it as their number one option I just can't stand that it's shareware and you know I I mean it's 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 not too annoying it's not like they're throwing it in your face constantly can you buy it can you buy it can you buy it it's just I don't know you guys have a big community I don't know why you can't just open it up and just make it free for everyone like all the rest of the text editors but uh, so yeah that was sublime now number two on this list is going to be one of the two most popular and pretty much gods when it comes to text editing and that is going to be Emacs and Emacs is is the old I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it's the oldest but is one of the oldest text editors ever to exist and it's going been around for so long it's packed with tons of features and the thing about Emacs is is they offer many different plugins and many different add-ons to Emacs that allows it to go beyond text editing or IDE or any of that it's it can do all types of things um, it has many versions it's very customizable it has features such as macro recording which is great for when you need to duplicate code and you know that could take time uh, it has shortcut features lots and lots of third-party modules like I said calendars news word processing web browsing email all this stuff that could be bothersome to some people but useful to others and it's free so it's pretty awesome the only real negative thing about Emacs is that it's so hard to learn for a new user and it can take a very long time for anyone to learn all the knowledge about this specific type of text editor in this type of software now on to number one on my list which for people who are familiar with this kind of software and coding I'm sure they've already guessed it and that is Vim and Vim is uh, the other god of text editing next to Emacs and is in my opinion number one because not only is it incredibly fully featured it is lightweight and a very simple VI it's cross-platform so you can use it on any OS it's incredibly customizable just like all the other good ones it supports tons of languages t tons uh, I think around at least over 30 uh, maybe even more but it's, it's, it's literally a few dozen at least um, it has macro reading history recording automatically recognizes file types it has a graphical environment available which you would think well don't all the text popular text editors have graphical environments yes but some of them in the past haven't and some other text editors don't and Vim also gives you the option to simply use a graphical environment or to just only use it from the shell or terminal it's free of course and it's what's called or people could consider charity wear because what they do is they encourage you instead of you know donating your money off to them which would be cool too or you know paying for a product they want you to just donate it to a charity which specifically they list as their charity as African certain African funds for feeding starving children and providing homes and technology and things of that sort and so that's amazing and I think that's one of the reasons why they have gotten so much support from the community and once again the only really wrong or bad aspect of it is that it's very hard to learn like Emacs and Vim could literally take your entire lifetime <laughs> to learn most of it so it's incredibly a lot of stuff but uh, hey 
that's what you're here for so thanks for watching guys that was my list of the five best text editors out there regardless if you are on a Mac operating system Windows or Linux thanks for watching take it easy and uh, peace out guys